Hi, my name is Chuck Loeb, and I'm here to talk a little bit today about a very exciting new amp that is made by Roland. Uh, it's called the Blues Cube, the Roland Blues Cube amplifier. And uh, I've been very, very privileged to be able to be involved in some of the early developments uh, of the amplifier. In fact, uh, I took a trip up to uh, the Roland factory in Japan and tried it before it looked anything like it does today. It looked completely different and it sounded quite a bit different too. And that was over a year ago. Um, and now uh, it's finally done and it is superb. I love it. My approach uh, is probably much more concentrated and focused on the clean guitar sound because that is pretty much a lot of the time what I use when I'm recording and performing. And so for me, a very pure, beautiful, clean tone is very important. And that's what this amp has. It's got a crystal clear, beautiful sound. And um, that's what I'm always looking for. And yet there's a lot of variety that, that, I, can, that I can get out of it. Um, the piece that I started playing is a piece that's kind of like a, a finger style guitar piece. And for that, you can hear that it's got a lot of warmth in the bottom, down here. And depth, a lot of depth to the sound. However, it also has a lot of brilliance. You know, when up on the high strings, you can really hear the fingers and hear the delicacy of the sound. Now I'm using a pretty warm tone for this particular piece and I would also say that when I do uh, a lot of I do a lot of standard jazz performing too so my guitar has a little mid-range boost I'm going to put it on and you'll hear what this amp sounds like when you have a more jazz tone Now with a pick, sounds like an old jazz guitar. And with the thumb. Now, if with the same clean sound, I want to have a little more brilliance, uh, because when I play with, for example, when I play with the band Foreplay, it's got a little bit more of a pop jazz sound. So I might want to have, go over here, you have uh, presence and, and uh, basic uh, bass, mid-range, and treble, but there's also a, tr a presence knob. I'm going to boost that up, because sometimes I'm looking for a little bit of bite from the sound. And I want to get some of that pick sound. I'll even add a little bit more. Of course, all of this can be stored in, in tone module. You can really hear that edge now. So there's a lot of variety, even within the clean sound. And remember, we're still talking about the clean sound of the amplifier. Now let's just talk a little bit about, about the uh, channel switching. Um, I love, there's an aspect of this that I really love. One is that you can get a straight crunch sound just by changing the channels. So to turn down the presence a little bit for this, because I normally leave it down a little bit lower. And this one is kind of a... Uh, You can hear the growl that it has is very, very warm. You don't get a lot of false overtones, and it's very warm, and yet still has a little bit of bite on it. Right? Now that's just going straight to the crunch channel. <clears throat> this has a feature where you can use the clean and the crunch together. And uh, this is a sound that I've, I'm, I'm using quite a bit now. You get like a, a, a nice warm round bottom from the clean sound. 
you can hear the, the roundness of that come out. And yet it still has that distorted edge that you're looking for. And then the last thing I'll say is that uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, of, I like playing with reverb. I don't always use a dry sound. I almost always use reverb. And there's different kinds of reverb, reverbs on the sample. You can have a, a, a kind of a vintage spring reverb. Uh, but I use, a, there's a plate, a little plate sound that I use quite a bit. For me, that's a little bit more natural. But you have that option of, of doing either one. And then, of course, like a classic old amplifier, tremolo. And I love, I love tremolo. It uh, makes me happy. <laughs> I have a pretty, pretty deep setting right there for the tremolo.